First news, another brutal honor killing in Iran. I should have said that with a little bit more, less exciting tone. Sorry about that. Uh, the summary of the news is, and this is actually very horrible because this is the, I don't know if this news summary mentions it, because this is the third honor killing in Iran this month. Um, and we're not even at the end of the month yet, right? So the summary says, on June 14, 19-year-old Fatima Barhi, I don't think that's, uh, I, I wish I see the, I had the Persian um, writing of it. I would have been able to read that uh, better. Anyways, Fatima Barhi was murdered by her 30-year-old cousin, Habib Barhi, who she had been forced to marry a year earlier. So she was forced to marry her cousin, and now her cousin killed her. After slitting her throat, he walked into the police station and handed the murder weapon over to the police. Fatima, okay, so the person who killed Fatima, he himself just went to the police and like, here's a murder weapon. I'm the murderer. I killed Fatima. Fatima's, oh, so Fatima's head had been completely decapitated. From her body, Fatima's sister had also been forcibly married off uh, to a male family member and was physically abused in that household. It seems Fatima did not want to suffer the fate of her sister. After her marriage, she escaped from home with the help of a friend only to be returned and sub subjected to violence and ultimately killed. Um... And, you know, I, okay, before I tell you what I, uh, my thoughts on this, you, what do you guys, uh, Rivka and Chopin, do you guys want to, let's go with Rivka first and then Chopin. What I find interesting is in, well, it's, first of all, it's absolutely horrible, this poor woman. And apparently she had apparently been rescued by her mother from violence from this guy previously. But the last, story we had about the honor killing the murderer also turned himself in hmm. so i so they they're turning themselves in but it's still not preventing them from doing it they understand apparently they're going to be charged or that they're willing to go to the police and say i did this but they still do it and it's almost as if it's some sort of bizarre badge of honor or something i i just find it very strange and it's just disgusting and um I, it's really sad that something like this happens and i feel just it's really sad i don't have a whole lot else to say i don't know what else to say about something so absolutely horrific and it just doesn't make sense and uh, yeah. you know i don't know why women's honor is it has to be, you know, either between their legs or it has to be the whole family has to, you know, take it on as some kind of badge. So, but that's my, what I have to say about it. Um, I, w I want to say like, uh, in the, even in the article, it has been mentioned like this case of honor killing is not the first in this family because even Fatima's aunt who wanted to divorce with her husband, was killed brutally by her brothers and uh, other relatives because they considered that divorce was like a disgrace to the family because she wanted to get the divorce. And so this was not the first case in their family and certainly not in like the society. Like it's still there. I guess it's getting like, I think I, I mean, you were talking about this, like, uh, I guess it's just getting more attention now. It was always there, but... Well, I don't know, actually. I was guessing. I don't know, because it seems like he's picking up in Iran. I don't know if it's increasing or it's just getting more attention. But what I uh, do know... Okay, so... One reason why they might be just giving um, themselves to the police is because the punishment for this, for a man killing a woman, or especially for fathers, like the other honor killings include like the fathers killing their own daughters for like doing something, probably uh, going off with a man or something like that. The punishment is very low. Uh, the punishment for a man killing a woman is much lower than a woman killing a man in Iran. 
um, and the punishment for a father killing his own daughter is extremely low. Um, because it seems like it's just basically technically you don't owe anybody to anything because that was your daughter. It's your property. Uh, but even if, so like a father killing their daughter gets way less punishment than a father killing their own son. So that, I mean, this is, this might be why they go hand themselves to the police because they're like, well, if I run away, I might get more punishment for running away. And this is really not that bad. I get two or three years in prison. I might as well just go and tell them, like, yeah, I did this. Arrest me. And let's get it over with. And, yeah, it is like they do it with pride as well. Like, look how much I care. Look how much we care about our family's honor, that we're cleansing it. All right? Um, I mean, to be fair to the rest of the country, they're, the rest of the country is horrified. But that doesn't mean that this is not a problem. The whole issue with honor killing is that it seems to be the vast majority of it happens in Islamic countries. The only other country that might compete with Islamic countries in honor killing is India, right? But it doesn't come even close to Islamic countries, right? So what a Muslim might say is like, listen, this is nothing to do with Islam because there's nothing in Islam that tells you it's okay for you to kill uh, your daughter or uh, yes, adultery is, uh, is punishable by death in Islam. It is, but you need four witnesses and it needs to be done by a judge or whatever. And again, this is not a defense of Islam because adultery shouldn't be punishable by death anyways. But they say like, well, these what these fathers and these husbands are doing, uh, it's not... It's not in Islam, so you can't blame Islam for it. But you can uh, definitely blame Islam for it. Islam has this concept. Uh, I don't know how you translate it. It's called qayrat. You know, you really have to... It's basically honor. I think the, that is the best translation. Like spreading this idea that you have... You and your whole family has become, you know... Spiritually dirty in a way, in a, in a way, and you know, upholding the family's honor, like spreading those, that kind of culture and that kind of values, that comes from Islam. It's true that there's nothing in Quran or Hadith that says you could just go kill your own daughter or your wife, but spreading that idea is responsible for these kind of behavior. It's not like directly. Um, it's not like these people go and read Islamic scripture directly and to see what they have to do. It's more about spreading a cer certain t attitude that influences people's behavior. But it, what is directly in the scripture that might help with these people doing these things is the low amount of punishment. Um, you know, the idea that women are, you know, treated as property, especially your daughters and your wives and your sex slaves. Um, and if, I mean, the punishment would be more severe if you went and so killed some, someone else's property, but if you're just killing your own property, then the punishment for that is minimum, right? So that kind of, the lower punishment, that is directly from Islam, and that also contributes to the fact that these people think like they can get away with doing this. So... One other thing, you were mentioning that, and there's this social worker that they talk about quite talk to quite a bit in this article, and that's exactly one of the things that she says is that there's you know not much of a punishment, and basically these men who do this are returned right back into the community, and she goes on to tell several stories of all kinds of different women, not just the one you mentioned, Shabham, about the other person in the family, but. You were saying, Armin, like this is the third one we've heard of, and I hadn't really heard of too many of in Iran before this. But according to this woman, this particular region, there are quite a number of them, according to this social worker. She says that um, Kuzistan province, that um, she's a government, she works as an advisor to a government agency in Kuzistan province. She told Iran Wire that femicide in the area is very common. 
yeah like, it's yeah, it, yeah, hmm. yeah it says like you're talking about the this social worker right uh, i i can't uh, pronounce the name correctly i guess uh, katayun nakai and yeah she's saying like it, it doesn't matter how the woman is whether she has like bought several children or whether she is like even the kindest people of all like if if people suspect like her uh, she is being like the uh, they uh, the family members incite hatred against the woman by using the word betrayer or traitor uh, to incite the surrounding people uh, against her and that's how like they gain support from these people and th- the only way that the honor can be uh, replenished is by killing the woman and yeah uh, she also mentions um this case in 2009 like it, i mean it, you said like it's the third in the month but it, i mean there were cases like this even before like i guess yep. we just didn't hear about them and this was like a very horrifying one because the woman was like just she was like the the family basically thought that she is not able to satisfy her husband so the family with her brothers they stormed in her room carried her to the grave and buried her alive what is what is scary the, i mean all of it is scary what makes it even more scary is the fact that some of them seem to think like being okay with going to prison for this is a bragging right like as if like look how much we care about look at us how much we stand for our honor and our family honor that we are willing to do this and pay whatever cost needed for it as well because nothing is more important than honor that's how they see it yeah uh, about that i think like even in india i have seen this kind of people who are like i am doing something great for my religion i am being a martyr i am i'm glad to be a martyr for my religion like yeah i i need to go to jail great but what i did will incite other people into doing the same and following the religion i think this is kind of ideology to subscribe to like they yeah. just love being the martyr for the religion there's a 2003 film which i've actually seen i don't know if anyone's seen it it's about this particular practice in iran it's called the stoning of soraya m and it's the story of this woman who is stoned to death murdered by her husband and other people in the village just like you're saying uh shapam they all incite against her because i don't even remember but it's it's some some sort of trumped up reason that he's decided he wants to get rid of her and it's the story and it's a film about this and uh so it, it you it's just the whole town turns against her and um even her children so yeah it's a very horrifying really sad film just like this article is just it's so sad news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, "Oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos." But nah, you we think is no. And oh look, like, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, "No, we want to see Atheist Republic." And YouTube is like, "No, nah, we don't think you want this." They're like, "No, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic." And YouTube is like, "No, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself." So, to solve that, link there's a link in the description uh which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritize, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that you know on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 